All right, so I took my uh, arrow built SPR type rifle. This rifle has a wide oak armament, 13 and a half inch barrel, with surefire suppressor, my PEC 15, the civilian eye safe uh, version, and then the incendus clip on with my Trujicon 1 to 4. And it's an arrow upper and lower. Again, with the wide oak armament match barrel, law of tactical folder, and ESP brace, since it's technically a pistol. All right, get the little room out. I like the little room out. AccuFire did very well today, getting zero. Got the Trijicon zeroed first, and then I went ahead and I clipped on the uh, Incendus and got that zeroed next. I'm gonna cover the zeroing procedure. So um, with the Incendus, it's very, uh, easy, very intuitive, and I don't have to worry about saving anything. Um, went to the range, we got a zero today, so I'll cover that stuff. All right, so I'm going to cover uh, zeroing or changing the zero on your Accufire Incendus. So this button right here, if you press and hold it, the menu comes up. That's your menu button. When you select menu, press and hold that button, comes up. The three selection right there. If I scroll up to the top, very next one, select that, and I get an X and Y. Basically, I scroll down to those X, um, which is left and right, and then your Y. If I go down to that one, I select that one, you can see. And then once you select it, the reticle comes up. So once I've made my changes up, down, or left, and right, I just hit save button back up to the next thing just like that one it's done and I go up to this and that right there saves everything so getting this zeroed for your gun is really super easy and you don't have to go to a memory mem menu or anything else as soon as you get out of it it automatically saves for you so very nice and very convenient all right, so my zeroing procedure, uh, I've got the uh, optic mounted, the Trujicon 1 to 4, got that zeroed, uh, less than 10 rounds, fire two rounds, made adjustment, fire two more, uh, got them where I needed to be, put my caps back on, uh, set up the thermal target, which the IR tools, uh, active thermal target, I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And then I clipped on the thermal, the AccuFire and Cindus. Clipped that on to get it zeroed. Um, initially, I was really close and uh, I wound up changing it and then wound up coming back to my original setting. Once I got it completely zeroed, I wound up taking the Incendus off and on three separate times, firing two rounds every single time I took it off and put it back on. And it was pretty much point of aim, point of impact, really nice. And accurate. Uh, muzzle velocity out of this gun is very good. I got a uh, chronograph of my last three rounds, and I was getting 2620, and my standard deviation was 2.2. Uh, with 77 grain Black Hills uh, match ammunition. Uh, shot very well. Really like this gun, really like this configuration. And I've also got a plate right there so I can run it on a tripod. So I can run it as a carbine, I can run it as a recce rifle, I can run it as a precision rig, and a uh, multi-platform setup. So the really nice feature about being able to run uh, thermal and night vision is I've got the PEC-2, I can run night vision, I've got the clip-on that I can run either in handheld mode or I can run as a, as a uh, front end clip-on device. So this platform right here, uh, whether 223 or 308, I've got my LaRue OBR and 308, um, being able to run uh, multiple platforms, multiple systems, and have uh, just a multitude of options is really nice.